Prince Harry will face is a deeply emotional and really tough reunion with the Queen at Prince Philip's funeral, according to a royal expert. Today, Prince William and Kate Middleton were spotted leaving their Kensington Palace home to arrive at Windsor Castle today, as he prepares to see Prince Harry for the first time in more than a year, with the estranged brothers to be reunited at their grandfather Prince Philip's funeral. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge had earlier been seen wearing face masks as they left Kensington Palace in West London in the back of a vehicle before being driven the 20 miles to Windsor for the funeral. Prince Harry and Prince William are among nine members of the royal family, who will walk behind their grandfather's typically unique coffin this afternoon, leaving the sovereign's entrance at Windsor Castle at precisely 2.45pm. Prince Harry is back in the UK ahead of his grandfather Prince Philip's funeral and the first time Prince Harry will see the Queen and royal family is at the service. Prince Harry's reunion with the Queen will be deeply emotional for them both. A royal expert believes. The Duke of Sussex has flown back to share the pain of losing a loved one to the Queen and his family as they prepare to say goodbye to the Duke of Edinburgh. Concerns have been raised about simmering tensions following his bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey last month. But it has been claimed the brothers are only interested in presenting a united front for the Queen. The Queen has appealed for her family to use the period of unity from Prince Philip's passing as a catalyst to come together. Today will mark the first time Harry and William have been seen together since March 2020, when they attended a Commonwealth service at Westminster Abbey with other royals and could barely look each other in the eye. The monarch had been comforted in her darkest hour by seeing her family rallying round one another and putting their differences aside, royal sources have revealed. Sources close to both royals insist they will be putting their differences aside. They will support the Queen as the family gathers to remember Prince Philip, who died peacefully last Friday at the age of 99. Vanity Fair's royal editor Katie Nichol says, the very short window of time that Prince Harry will actually have to see his the Queen and Prince William, will make things very difficult. Speaking to the Herald Sun, she said, I know they are royals and we put them on a pedestal and we almost don't see them as real people, but they are real people with real lives, real emotions and real feelings. However, a royal author said, Prince Harry and Prince William's royal rift is based on very profound things which cannot be resolved at Prince Philip's funeral. So, William and Harry will not walk shoulder to shoulder during the service, they will be separated by one of their cousins, Peter Phillips as they say goodbye to the Duke of Edinburgh. Royal aides have been walking on eggshells as they try to navigate the rift between the brothers, sources said last night, as tensions remain following Harry and Meghan's acrimonious split from the royal family last year. The princes will not stand shoulder to shoulder behind the Duke of Edinburgh's coffin, as they walk from the castle's quadrangle to St George's Chapel, and will instead be either side of their cousin Peter Phillips. When the coffin is carried into the chapel, William will move ahead of his younger brother, as they take their seats separately, in an arrangement that will be seen by some as a missed opportunity to show family unity. And today is likely to be a particularly difficult day for the brothers, and evoke memories of having to walk behind their mother, Princess Diana's coffin, in September 1997, when they were aged just 15 and 13. William, 38 wore a black suit while Kate, 39, wore a black dress with a pearl necklace and a veiled fascinator. The couple were also both seen wearing black masks in their car, which the palace previously shared will be worn by all guests in attendance. Prince Charles was also photographed arriving at Windsor on Saturday and was seen wearing a black mask. All four of the Duke of Edinburgh and Queen Elizabeth's children, Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, will be in attendance, along with Charles's wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, and husband Timothy Lawrence and Edward's wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex. Anne's daughter Zara Tyndall was also photographed ahead of the service with husband Mike Tyndall. Last night the Duke of Sussex was finishing his quarantine after flying in from California. His pregnant wife Meghan Markle and 21-month-old son Archie did not travel. This afternoon, 
the Duke of Edinburgh's unwavering loyalty to the Queen and his courage, fortitude and faith will be marked at his funeral. Before, Prince Harry has been staying at his Frogmore Cottage home in Windsor, after returning to the UK for the first time, since officially stepping down as a senior royal and moving to California last year. Princess Eugenie is the first member of the royal family to see Prince Harry since his arrival back in his home country, according to page 6. This is also the first time Harry will get to meet Eugenie's son who was born in February and given the middle name Philip after his late great-grandfather. Now, Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank, with their newborn, August Philip Hawke Brooksbank, have been living at Frogmore for the past few months. The residence on the grounds of Windsor Castle that Harry and Meghan Markle lent to the growing family after moving to America. Meanwhile, pregnant Meghan Markle will watch Prince Philip's funeral on a live stream from the US with her son Archie, after doctors said she couldn't attend. The Duchess of Sussex will watch a live stream of the funeral this Saturday, having been forced to stay in the US due to medical advice. Pregnant Meghan Marco can watch Philip's funeral using the same footage provided to BBC, ITV and other UK broadcasting giants. And she will be able to watch the somber proceedings through a special live stream with Archie. Meghan has remained in the US on doctor's advice while Prince Harry made the 5,400 mile trip to the UK ahead today's event. The Duke of Edinburgh's funeral service will be broadcast on BBC One and members of the public have been advised to watch the procession on television instead of travelling to Windsor. After 73 years of marriage, the Queen will say farewell to Philip during the televised funeral service today, attended by a small group of close family and friends. Covid regulations have reduced the scope of the service with public elements cancelled. Mourners reduced from around 800 to just 30, and all guests wearing face masks and sitting apart. The Prince of Wales and Princess Royal will lead the Duke of York, Earl of Wessex and other family members walking behind the Duke's coffin, carried on a Land Rover Hersey helped design, during the funeral procession which the Queen will join, travelling by car. Royal brothers the Duke of Cambridge and Duke of Sussex, who have a troubled relationship will not walk shoulder to shoulder but with their cousin Peter Phillips between them. Due to the pandemic, the Duke of Edinburgh will be laid to rest at Street. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle surrounded only by close family members and friends. The funeral will take place entirely within the grounds of Windsor Castle, and plans have been given final approval by the Queen, but they still very much reflect the personal wishes of the Duke. The occasion will still celebrate and recognize the Duke's life and his more than 70 years of service to the Queen, the UK and the Commonwealth. Farewell handsome. We wish you a wonderful journey. The Heavenly Kingdom door is widely opened, waiting to receive his angel. We will raise our hands to wave the last goodbyes to yours. We will remember all of your humorous kind stories with your handsome smiles. God bless you and your beloved Queen. I wish the Queen and her family strength. Everyone who had lost a loved one knows how the Queen and her family must feel at this moment. Especially on the funeral day. Dear sire thank you for who you were rest in peace. Thank you for watching our video. Please support growing channel by subscribe channel and like video hour. And don't forget activate notifications to channel to always get the latest news. If you have any problems with the information in the video, please write a comment below to let us know and answer.